We can make use of payment application rules to set criteria for whether payments are automatically applied to related entries when we use the apply automatically function in the payment reconciliation journal. We saw how the apply automatically function works in the previous unit. We can get to the payment application rules page by using the search for page. Depending on the rule that is used to match a payment to an entry, we can also specify and see how good the match is, is by looking at the match confidence field. In the payment application rules window, each row is used to specify a rule. The rules are applied relative to their position in the priority field. However, if we're making use of many rules at once, then the match confidence of the highest priority rule is used to, to determine the full priority. Going back to the payment reconciliation journal, I'll run by you how automatic application function works. Now, the function works on a basis of prioritizing matching criteria. It first looks at matching text in the related party fields on a journal line with the text in the bank account, name, or address fields of the customers or vendors that hold unpaid documents. These fields aren't immediately visible on this journal, but they can be added using the personalize function. And I'll just show you what that looks like. It would be these related party name, related party bank account number, related party address, and city. And we can drag these in uh, to have a look. At this moment in time, those fields are blank as these are fields that I filled, lines that I filled in manually. But with the import from a bank statement, we may see those fields populated. After this, the function will attempt to match the text in the transaction text and additional transaction info with the external document number and the document number on open entries. Again, the additional transaction info field is one that we can add using the personalized function. Lastly, the function will attempt to match the amount in the transaction amount field, otherwise known as the statement amount field, with the amount on the open entries. The function will also treat the sign on amounts differently too. For positive amounts, a match will be made firstly against open entries for vendor invoices. If they do not apply, then Business Central will consider customer credit memos. For negative amounts, a match will be made against customer invoice entries, then against vendor credit memos. We can set up, review, and modify payment application rules as we need, making use of the fields and setting our criteria to what we deem appropriate. If, however, we want to reset the changes we've made, we can use the restore default rules function found in the ribbon on the payment application rules page.